Hello, this is Abby from AliHolly.com. Welcome to part two of the Nurse Cat Amigurumi Crochet tutorial. In part one, we made the head, ears, and arms. In this part, we're going to be making the legs and the body. You can find the free written pattern on my blog. It will be linked in the description box down below. I will be using Paint Box Yarns Cotton Aran in Mandarin Orange. This is a discontinued color, so I'm just trying to use it up. A 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. A stitch marker, this is optional but very helpful. Some polyfill. And a pair of scissors. The first things we will be working on are the legs. To start, make 6 single crochet into your magic circle. Pull on the center tail to tighten the circle in the center. In round 2, we will be increasing into each stitch from the previous round. This will increase our round by 6 stitches for a total of 12 stitches. I like to place a stitch marker on my first stitch to help me keep track of where I'm at. In round 3, we will be making one single crochet into the back loops of each stitch. The back loop is a loop that is further away from you, so insert your hook into the center and out the back. Continue working single crochet stitches into the back loops only for each stitch. I will meet you at the end of round 3. For rounds 4 to 7, we will be making one single crochet into each stitch. Pause here to work the next 4 rounds and I will meet you at the end of round 7. Cut the working end of the yarn and fasten off. Remove your stitch marker and set the first leg aside. Pause here to make another leg, making sure not to fasten off the second leg. Now that we have both of the legs, we will need to join them. To do so, Chain 1 and slip stitch into any stitch on the first leg. I like to slip stitch into the next stitch on the first leg. Doing so will allow me to sandwich the yarn tail from the first leg between my single crochet stitches as I work the first few stitches of round 1 of the body. This slip stitch does not count as your first stitch. Single crochet into the same stitch you just slip stitched into. This is the first stitch of your round. Work a single crochet into each of the remaining 11 stitches on the first leg.
Next, make one single crochet into the back bump of the chain one we made at the beginning of the round. Then work 12 single crochet around the second leg. Single crochet into the front of the chain. You should have a total of 26 stitches when you are done with this round. In round 2, we will start off with making 6 single crochet and then increasing in the 7th. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then increasing. Then we will make 5 single crochet and increase. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5 and increase. Repeat making 5 single crochet and increase one more time. Then work 6 single crochet and then increase in the final stitch. You should have a total of 30 stitches when you are finished with round 2. In round 3, make 1 single crochet into each stitch. Pause here to work the rest of the round and I will meet you at the end of round 3. In round 4, make the following a total of 3 times. Work 1 single crochet into the next 9 stitches, then increase into 10th. So that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then increase. Repeat that 2 more times until you have a total of 33 stitches. Pause here to work the rest of the round and I will meet you at the end. In round 5, make 5 single crochet then increase. Then repeat the following twice. Work 10 single crochet then increase. End off the round with 5 single crochet for a total of 36 stitches. Pause here to work the rest of this round and I will meet you at the end of round 5. In round 6, make 5 single crochet then decrease. Then repeat the following twice, 
Work 10 single crochet, then decrease. Pause here to work the 10 single crochet and decreasing twice. End off the round with 5 single crochet for a total of 33 stitches. In round 7, repeat the following 3 times. Make 9 single crochet, then decrease. Pause here to work the rest of the round. You should have a total of 30 stitches when you are done. In round 8, make 4 single crochet then decrease. Then repeat the following twice. Make 8 single crochet and then decrease. Pause here to work the 8 single crochet and decrease twice. End off the round by making 4 single crochet for a total of 27 stitches. In round 9, repeat the following 3 times. Make 7 single crochet then decrease. Pause here to work the rest of the round. You should have a total of 24 stitches when you are done. In round 10, make one single crochet into each stitch. Pause here to work the rest of the round and I will meet you at the end of round 10. In round 11, make 3 single crochet then decrease. Then repeat the following twice. Make 6 single crochet and then decrease. Pause here to work the 6 single crochet and decreasing twice. End off the round by making 3 single crochet for a total of 21 stitches. In round 12, repeat the following 3 times. Make 5 single crochet and then decrease. Pause here to work the rest of round 12. You should have a total of 18 stitches when you are done. In round 13, which is our final round for the body, make one single crochet into each stitch. Pause here to work the rest of the round and I will meet you at the end of round 13. Cut the working end of the yarn. I like to make sure to leave a long enough tail for sewing. Fasten off. Stuff the body fully, making sure to loosen up the polyfill and pack it in layer by layer. The whole stuffing process took me about 2 minutes because I was packing in a small amount at a time. This is the end of part 2 of the Nurse Cat Amigurumi tutorial. In the next part, we will be sewing the cat together and embroidering in the details of the face. Thanks for following along with this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!